good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, the good people of the tube. Hope you are today, hope you're grand, and always well in your world. Today, we have another unboxing video, everybody. We are going to unbox and have the first impressions on a Squire Bullet. So, without further ado, let's get on with it! Okay, enough silliness, let's get on with it. Okay. I've wanted to try a Squire Bullet for a long time, and I've ordered the Fiesta Red um, Hardtail. Oh, I can't get in! <laughs> ah! Ow! Okay, I think I need to broke my finger on this finger. I can't get in! Let me in! I want to play the guitar! <sighs> that really stung. I bent my fingernail and everything. You ever bend your fingernails? They sting like beasts. Hey, look, we've made it, I think. It's like the worst pain in the world. <sighs> really stings. Okay, moving along. Stop complaining, Dave. Okay, packaging. Ha ha! Hello. Uh, get rid of that. Here we go. Oh, what's that? I thought, I, thought, I thought that was the top of the box, and it isn't. It's just got Allen keys in it. Okay, forget that for the time being. I want the guitar. It's extremely warm. <laughs> It's very, very warm. Okay. Okay, so like I said, I've ordered the Squire Bullet in Fiesta Red, and it's extremely light. It's a hardtail. And um, one of the reasons I bought this, before I get it out of its uh, amniotic sack, uh, is I wanted to see, being a ridiculously, ridiculously cheap guitar, this is £110, I think. Under, yeah, well, £110 guitar, this. I wanted to see how this compared to the Harley Benton. Um, I'm just really curious. I actually thought that I thought the Squire was the exact competitor to the Harley Benton guitar that's actually through now. I'm pointing at you; you can't see. But I thought it was kind of like 150 pounds as well, but it's not. It was 110, 109 pounds actually. Um, so I was a bit like, oh well, I'll, I'll, I'll I saved up and I, I was actually able to kind of get one. I thought I'll. Do a comparison video at some point between this, this Squire Bullet and the Harley Benton I got as well. But first things first, let's just do a first impressions. I'll do a review on the guitar, and then we'll do a comparison video between the two, and see uh, see which one I prefer and see which one you prefer as well, people of the tube. Okay, so let's get it out of this amniotic sack. Okay. Haha! -ha! Look, it's the world's worst knuckle duster. Ugh. Okay, moving. Get that out of the way. Inspection card. Okay, this guitar was made. 22nd of the 12th, 2018. So it's it's quite old now. Okay, so we've got a hardtail Fiesta Red. And it looks nice. Okay, that neck is not a big boy. That neck feels really nice. Okay, what is it? Um... I don't know why, but I've always liked Squire selector switches. They've got this kind of like... I don't know, they just feel nice. I don't know, they just feel nice to me. Okay, so, first impressions. It's, um... It's a little, you know... I would say it's a little rougher than the Harley Benton. When I took the Harley Benton out, um... It was very, it was very clean. It was very kind of like, you know, everything was smooth uh, and stuff like that. On this one, you've got finger marks. Not that it matters. You've got finger marks on the machine heads. It's, it's kind of dusty as well. It's like factory dust uh, all over it. It's, it's very dirty, actually. <laughs> it's very, very dirty. Um, is it a problem? No. It's just, just observations more than anything. Um, so, yeah, is it in tune? No, it's not in June. <coughs> you can always hope <coughs> that it is. Okay, so. Okay, these neck, this neck is not massive. It's wide, but it's not massive. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I need to get rid of that other string tree. I can't stand two string trees. Like I said, there is a lot of dust on it. A lot of factory dust. That Squire logo looks weird. Does that look any? Does that look strange to anybody else? Something that just looks really odd to me. I don't know why. 
It's like the Q and the U look really odd. Anyway, so here we go. Fiesta Red, no string through body, it's just a stop tail piece. I'm intrigued. I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not overwhelmed by it. It's got a very interesting, weird thing in the neck there. I don't know if you have to see it. Kind of strange wood pattern there. The neck feels really nice. I think after I've tuned it up and cleaned it up, because it does feel, it's really, it's really dusty, really dusty. Okay, so um, let me get it in tune, we'll plug it into the Guitar 100, and we'll get first impressions. And yeah, we'll see where we go. Let's try that. Let's try that, let's do that. Mm. Okay, okay, so I uh, got tuned up, got it cleaned up as well, got all the dust off. Wasn't a, you know, wasn't a massive deal, it just felt a bit kind of like, you know, dirty. Dirty tells you. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. Anyway, got all that off, got all the plastic off the scratch plate. Which is the best part of a new guitar, as we all know, is peeling the scratch plate plastic off. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, I've uh, got rid of the string tree as well, like I said. I don't like two string trees. I always feel the D and the G kind of get hindered by that, so I've got rid of that one. It's just down there, but it won't be going back on. Um, yeah, and it feels lovely, but I haven't plugged it in yet. So, Katana on, power on. Um, like I said, I really like that selector switch. That selector switch feels... You're not going to struggle to get the position you're after. It's not stiff, like, oh, I can't get it out, can't get it to move. It's just about, like, right to get it in. I mean, it sounds a bit, you know, dull, if you will. But again, it's, that's nitpicky. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. As long as it works, is all that matters, really. Okay, so, uh, volume down there, because you don't want to kill anybody. So, clean. <laughs>
Microphonic! Thank you. 
turned itself off again. Okay, so just so you know, all, all I've done to this guitar is, all I did was dust it off and remove the plastic and remove that string tree. I haven't touched the setup, I haven't touched the pickup height, I haven't touched the intonation. All I've done is clean it, tune it, peel the plastic off, and that's it. I am lost for words. If you want to get pedantic, yeah, the frets are scratchy. Doesn't mind me. Couple, you know, an hour of playing this, that would have gone. That's not a problem. I can't find fault. I can't find fault. The neck is comfy. The fret work is amazing. It doesn't fret out anywhere. It sings. It, it's not microphonic. It doesn't feed back in a horrible way. The natural finished neck is gorgeous. There's just no. It's like I don't know. It's like a very thin kind of almost waxy esque kind of finish, but it doesn't kind of come off in your hand. It's just kind of like this almost. Well, it's it's pretty much bare wood. My head, my head is going to explode. How is this 110 pounds? How is this guitar 110 pounds? It took no getting used to. And I, I need to play it more. I need to play it more.
describe how much I am in love with this guitar straight off the bat as well I mean it really I just don't know what there isn't to like I mean the, the, the pots feel great the select switch feels great those pickups are unreal what is going on there? Some weird magic going on there. I like the hardtail. I do like the hardtail. I do miss my tremolo, but I do like the hard. I do like the hardtail. It makes you think differently. <laughs> comes with gauge nines as well, so it's ridiculously easy to like push the strings around and stuff. It's great. Machine heads feel good. Um, it needs to settle in a bit more. I mean, it's not having a hard time. I mean, it's 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 going slightly in and out. Of, it's in and out of tune, but the fact is, it's not really noticeable. If that makes any sense. I don't know what the fretboard wood is, but it's very nice. It, you know, you don't touch the fretboard, obviously, when you play, but it feels, it, it looks nice. The, it, the, the neck feels awesome! The back of the neck with the, like, the satiny finish just feels like home. Feels like you've, feels like you've, been pl you've played it. it um. I'm flustered, people who are due. I am absolutely flustered by this guitar. It's a skinnier body as well than a normal Strat. This this body's skinnier because it's a bullet. It's got a skinnier body. And obviously there's nothing on the back, which looks really strange. But I quite like that. I don't quite like that. I really like that, actually. It weighs nothing. It absolutely weighs nothing, this guitar. <laughs>
I am genuinely so impressed with this guitar. It Give me a gig, any gig. I'll I'll go with this and this and happy days. Good gravy. Absolutely good gravy. What is going on? I don't have any more words, people. I don't have any more words. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Even sounds good unplugged, you know what I mean? Not into an amp, that sounds nice. Okay, I'm actually sweating. I'm actually having a bit of a a, a bit of a a sweaty moment here, people with you. I am um, I don't have any more words. Gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video here because I'm just I'm just kind of like in a I'm in like a stunned shock noise. I can't even talk. I've lost my mind. I can't believe this guitar. For the price, is unreal. What a guitar. I really hope it came across well in the video because it sounds incredible. I'm just using room mics today. I'm not using uh, close mics or anything like that. I'm just using a room mic. But seriously... It's just unreal. If I'm going to be pedantic, there are a few things I would like to change, but they're just aesthetic things to make it look um, different. Like I would like, it's just a single ply scratch plate. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's just a single ply scratch plate, and I'd really like to get a mint green scratch plate for this. So. Um, that might happen at some point. Uh, I don't really feel I need to change the machine. Um, do I really need to change anything else on it? Not really. I mean, it just works. I mean, the only, I say the only aesthetic thing that I don't particularly like is the single ply scratch plate. Um, I think a three ply scratch plate would look it, make it look better, especially if it was mint green. It looked gorgeous, and uh, I think I'm going to get one ordered and get it on here and see what it looks like then and I'll, I'll do a video on that at some point it's not this guitar has well and truly blown my mind and absolutely made my day this guitar is absolutely awesome what a set let's go back to that clean channel set that clean that neck pickup <laughs>
Okay, that is literally the coolest thing I've ever played. No, it's one of the coolest things I've ever played. Yeah, there you go, everybody. Um, highly recommend the Squire Bullet series. I literally... I am shocked. I did not expect this. I did not expect this. Wow. Absolutely wow. Anyway, everybody, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions vid. vid. Like I said, I'll get to a full review on it um, uh, next week some point now. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm absolutely speechless. It's like, if I was going on tour and I needed a guitar on tour, that, like, because I always feel that if I ever kind of got to go on tour and I, I was playing, like, just, like, a local band, like, say the Dukes went on tour... I don't think I'd, and it was like, say, like, um, like two week tour or something like that. I wouldn't really want to take my Oswalds or anything like that because I'd be too afraid of somebody up, like half inching them after a gig. But for around 200 quid, I could buy two of these, and if one got nicked, I'd be gutted, yes, but it's not going to break the bank to replace it, and. That's incredible. I mean, I, I'm going to have to mess with the pickup heights. Um, I mean, they're, they're kind of even, but I, I kind of want, I just want to play around with it and, and just kind of just mess around with it and see what it does. But yeah, I mean, like I say, if I if I was to ever go on a tour, which, you know, sadly will never happen, but if I was to ever do that, I would just, I would happily take two of these. One as, one as a backup and one as my main. And, um, just wow i mean that is just like that is just comfort that this is um, um, shut up dave okay so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video everybody i will see you again very very soon and uh yeah just uh, have a great oh, i can't talk anybody okay yeah thank you very much for watching i've got to say a massive thanks to my patrons on patreon as well like thank you so much you guys are awesome people on youtube you are awesome you make this channel what it is. It's nothing that I do. If you're not here to watch, then, you know, what is it? You, know, you are, you know, you're the heart and soul of this channel. You really are. And I, I cannot state enough how much I appreciate you all for watching. So thank you so much. Um, description box below is a link to my website and stuff like that. Uh, there's a forum on there if you want to submit questions for Q&A Wednesday. Uh, there's also other bits and pieces. Well, I get, I get on the forums... Uh, I try to get on the forums at least once a week to kind of answer anybody's questions if there's any, you know, if anyone, that, if, anybody, if anybody asks anything on, I can't talk, it's this guitar's fault. But, um, but yeah, anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video, I'm going to stop waffling now. Like I say, thanks to my patrons on Patreon, thanks to you all for watching, I really appreciate it, no end, I can't believe this guitar. <laughs> I need to lay down, I really need to lay down, okay. Goodbye now everybody. Good night. Ugh.